and I'm not doing this because I have anything against anybody. This has nothing to do. This is just pure training because I'm seeing a mindset here that, frankly, I don't want to see. I just don't want to see it, and I am going to talk about it, and hopefully it will dispel that in, in a lot of people and also dispel the notion that people need to be worried about me. And the reason is it's always going to come down to the maxim that I put here, and that's those that seek the truth fear no truth. If you're going to go down this path, if you're going to exercise the right of self-determination, become financially independent, become free, then you're going to have to have no fear. You're going to have to eliminate it. It doesn't mean that you won't like shake your knees every once in a while, whatever, but you're just going to have to overcome it. I know I had to, especially when agents were showing up around you to intimidate the crap out of you or whatever, because they've been paid to do that job. Well, trust me, the illusion will go away. And whether it does or not, you're going to see my answer to all this. He's talking to a friend. This says, I was talking to a friend, a trusted source about the Dom. I know that there's some issues with the past and people that use that name for their own gain. The past is the past. Whatever issue was in the past was in 1998. This is now 2014. This is 16 years later. Whether or not everybody else wants to move on, I wasn't involved at that time, so it doesn't matter to me, and I've already moved on way past all that. I don't care what they did in 1998. They didn't understand some things in international law, but no one ever got arrested. No one ever got sued. No one ever went to an international court. No one ever went to prison. And as far as issues in the past, there's not a single country on this planet that doesn't have issues in their past, including the U.S., Canada, Great Britain, France. Ireland, China, Russia, Liberia, Uganda, just pick one. He said, that's not a problem with me. I says, I know that disinformation is rife and a common tactic to discourage interest in anything that's not mainstream. Yeah, because bottom line is media people aren't going to retract their statements anyway, even if they're wrong. If they do, it's going to be in the back where you never find it. So whatever information gets put out there just gets put out there. And I'm not here to worry about whether or not they write good things about me. I'm here to do the right thing. That's it. For instance, governments have banned blank. It's had to do with skin cancers and all that kind of stuff, and I don't really care. However, my source told me the United States is actively monitoring DOM. Furthermore, that should it be successful, the prediction is the U.S. will bring about its demise emphatically. I thought for a while, and I think I see why. A nonviolent group that can beat the U.S. government using proper legal lawful means would potentially be a nightmare separatist disaster. Given that the economic system is volatile and lurching to its demise, there's nothing more dangerous than a wounded, cornered, savage animal. I strongly feel that the past of Dominic will have no problem tarnishing the name sufficiently to move against his supporters and the so-called public interest. This would seriously complicate my business projects and his relationship with other countries. I won't mention the country. Therefore, I must withdraw my support for your work, even though we agree with the core nonviolent principles. I know you're on the right path, but I think your timing is a bit off. Yeah, well, after 14 years, if it ain't right now, there's I'm, I have a real problem. I got to tell you, the current system will need to run its course like the old USSR and let me fall of its own consequences. Well, I didn't address that, but I, when you read that, it makes no sense. Like the old USSR falling apart. I mean, it's just saying the current system. This is like the world's going to fall apart, or is it just saying the U.S. is going to fall apart? And if the U.S. is going to fall apart, and you're doing business with other countries, why would it matter? Anyway. My source also mentioned an individual connected with the Dom that wears a single eyeglass, as in an old-fashioned monocle. Do you know anyone like that? And I said, where do people get the silly information? These allegations mean nothing to me. I'm now in control of the Dom, and unless they're monitoring me directly, then none of this matters. And by the way, they are monitoring me directly, so what? They're monitoring everyone. I mean, watch any movie, they'll tell you. And there's no one in the Dom that wears a single eyeglass. There's nothing but disinformation for you, not for me, because... I don't care. And it's not true anyway. And so like a new administration in the U.S. or Australia or New England or England or France or anywhere else, I'm not liable for what was done in the past. In fact, whatever was done in the past is irrelevant since no one ever charged with Dom itself was in, never charged in any international court for any crime. There's never been, there's only ever been two people in Dom or associated with Dom, I should have said, that have been prosecuted for anything and they were prosecuted as U.S. citizens because they were U.S. citizens. That's why the state and those in it must learn how to do the notices properly. What I mean by that is you have to learn how to say, I'm not doing this duality garbage. I said, Dom had a broken chain on the vehicle or bicycle, or whatever you want to call it, but I put the chain back on, so why do I care? The only question is, does the state exist? Well, if, if the state has a right to exist before recognition, 
This is in accordance with all the treaties that have been written about the state having a right to exist even before recognition. Then it certainly has a right to exist after it gets more formal recognition. I have formal recognition from the U.S. courts and from other governments. And even if they did trounce Don, what's that, Dom, then what's that got to do with me? I have the right to self-determination. I'll just start a new state and bend again and again. And I've got people to do that with now. So I'm going to go through the email, but I highly advise you to check your source because it sounds like some disinformation junkie to me. See, I'm more worried about what information other people get, trying to deter you or someone else around you from doing the right thing. Not me. I already know what I'm doing, and I'll never back away, never back off. It's too late in that game for me now anyway. I mean, you know, even this is like, what would somebody expect me to do, quit, go back? Anyway, so it says, I was talking to a friend. I said, past issues did not result in prosecution. They've been discontinued, therefore not issues. I put this in here specifically out of Wik Wikia at Micronations Wikia. Two separate regimes have ruled the Micronations since the days of the Pedleys with no reports of illegality. And then in July of 2003. So whenever that article was published on Wikipedia, it's been there for years. The two regimes ruled the Micronations since the days of the Pedleys, which was in the mid-90s, with no reports of illegalities. I'm not quite sure there's any other nation state that can make a report that they haven't had any illegalities reported since the mid nineties. Okay. Then the whole thing about the black salve and skincare. Okay. So what, why do I care what a government does to its slaves? If the slave masters don't want their subject citizen debtors, slaves using whatever it is, then that's the master's prerogative, but that's an internal political issue for you guys. Not me. Sounds like a reason to get out. Uh, the source told me about the demise. What do you mean? The U.S. is going to kill me? Because I didn't know there was a time when the U.S. was not monitoring me. I'm totally transparent, so why would I care? They monitored me before I exercised self-determination. Why would I expect them to stop after the fact? I was in the federal courts, the Supreme Court. Does anybody get there without being monitored? I can already answer that. The answer is no. I also sent claims to the world court. Matter of fact, we sent 62 at one time with the entire group that I was working with at that time back in 2002. So what? Let them monitor. Those that seek peace and do not live in fear, and those that seek the truth, fear no truth. Oh, this whole thing about a nonviolent group that can beat them. I'm not here to beat them. I'm here to do treaties and do business with them based on the door that they left open to do it through, which is the right of self-determination and forming the new state or establishing a new state or integrating with an already existing state, but doing it so that you have immunity doing it so that you are a pledged member on the compact so that you have the right to state a claim for which relief can be granted because you are part of the state. You are the state. You are building the society. Anyway, U.S. is not going down and it's not going anywhere. Whatever occur changes occur in the United States will be for the punishment of the subject citizen debtor slaves here. Why? Because they don't have any immunity. Those in power, they got immunity. They're not going to get punished because everybody's agreed that they're immune. That's the agreement. All U.S. citizens, in fact, all citizens worldwide are guilty of violating human rights contracts, and therefore they have judged themselves by their own crimes under the doctrine of e pluribus unum. This is where I was going with this. You know, by the DVD set, all the presentations on human rights contracts and human rights treaties are in there. You can see the violations because this is what falls back on you. The federated state is viewed as a sole person in the eyes of international law. Every nation and all of its people are using fraudulent Ponzi, Tontine, debt-based systems of barter. And therefore, everyone, including you, is guilty of that fraud. You have to have immunity and be immune to not be guilty of the fraud. That's a variation by agreement. And that's just for starters, violations of universal laws via the contract that you and everyone else has. I'm not here to change them. I'm only here to change me and my contract with the matrix system. And I can exercise the right of self-governance at any time I want to. Dom is real. We are the state and we are at peace. Whatever happens to the U.S., I could care less because I'm not their adversary. It's this sort of adversarial thinking that keeps people in their condition. I have recognition from the U.S. government, from DR, Haiti, Uganda, Albania, Romania, Nigeria, etc. Why do I care about the public interest? I don't care. The public is populated with idiots. I'm here to operate under private international law. And only care about contracts and agreements for doing business and gathering resources necessary to build and maintain the state or us, i.e. the members. He said, you have a wrong perception of what the state is all about. Now, I'm being hard in this because somewhere along the line, when somebody's been on the website for that kind of period of time, 
or they own the DVD set or whatever the case may be, you have to have heard me say these very same things repeatedly. That I'm not here to change them. I'm here to change me. And that's what you have to be here for. If you want to go to peace, you have to go to peace. you got to lay it down. And then you start comprehending statements that I've made or anybody else has made when they say that the universe operates on honor. They're going to honor the contract. And if you're in violation of a contract or a treaty or human right or whatever, then I'm sorry, but you better watch out for the universe because something's coming down your path. This is seriously complicate my business. I said it ain't complicating mine and hating other countries such as Dominican Republic, Equatorial Guinea. But if it's what you believe based on all the false information that's in this email, then pff, oh well. Uh, therefore, I must withdraw my support. And I said, blank, I said, listen, let's be honest. And this is honest. You haven't supported my work or even gotten involved with Dom. You came to my website where I teach about self-determination. That's what the website is about. It is not about the Dominion of Melchizedek. It's not about the U.S. It's not about the U.N. It's not about any of that. The right of self-determination in Matrix Solutions is about the right of self-determination. It's a principle that's been here, and it will remain here, and it's not going to go anywhere, and it will always be the peaceful settlement of dispute. I said you paid a very cheap price for that education, so I'm worth my hire, although you didn't deprogram yourself sufficiently enough to understand your condition. Matrix Solutions is about teaching self-determination. It's not about Dom. I did say this, the right of self-determination is becoming more prevalent in the news. Let's go take a look at that because this will be a comparison with paradigm and email. Okay, I already pulled this up. This came into my email, billionaires donating to nerds to start their own nation states. And one of my friends and comrades here who sent this, he said, I think we should get involved in this and send a proposal to the Silicon Valley billionaires. We're already starting to do this. I'm already reaching out to these people because as I'm growing, set, trying to set up business, doing import, export, do humanitarian aid, this is attracting more and more attention of people who have the wherewithal to do this. Some of them have the wherewithal to do it on their own. They don't have the education. They don't have the desire. They don't, you know, they're still pre-programmed themselves about putting a hand over their heart and saluting flags and doing whatever although it's not going to serve them very well. If you watch any of the movies that have come out, like Atlas Shrugged, and know what's going to happen with, I mean, you know, the, the power elite or the power elite, and they're going to look at the contract and go, well, let's see. You got billions of dollars. You violated human rights treaties. Your billions are now gone. Have a nice day. That's what trillionaires could do to billionaires. Anyway, um, so he sent over these three links, you know, these guys being comical about um, starting their own country. But, you know, here's the Libertarian Islands being created by PayPal founder. This is Peter Thiel. And I think I covered him on one of the presentations about doing the whole, and, you know, it's had to do with seasteading or whatever. My belief is that, and it may be happening that they're going to start surrounding themselves with more and more people who understand the right of self-determination. Lasting peace entails exercise of self-determination. It's a human rights expert. Now, I think they don't personally know it. I mean, even these human rights experts, and they talk about self-determination, but they're not doing it themselves. It's always been the big mystery with me with all these legal writers and law guys. They're not doing it themselves. It's just baffling. Uh, mentioned something about uh, the single eyeglass. I said, this is exactly why I move forward and I don't listen to BS. There's no such person around me. Dom was turned over entirely over to me. I'm the sovereign head. I hold the position of prime minister. I reformed the government. I rewrote the charter. And we are moving forward with other nations with our projects, technology, and education programs and other business. I wonder if the monocle was for the all-seeing eye. Maybe the pineal's going blind. Sometimes when it's, I feel like I'm getting absurdity, I just answer it would be an absurdity. I said, I have to laugh out loud. Well, this information is just not information. At best, it's comical. At worst, it's simply sad. But thanks for the head up. I'll keep my monocle out for, on the lookout for the bogeyman. I mean, I understand it, but it, it's actually a little bit arrogant. Okay? Because what am I going to do? Quit? I'm doing this to attract more and more people because for whatever reason I got on this path, I saw that it was the right path. And I'm not ever going to change my mind about that. So I hope you were right and I hope you succeed. My source has got a knack for getting things right, but it's not, in, but it's not infallible. There still remains the issue. If you succeed and become a threat to corrupt system, they will most certainly react. Well, that's the whole point. I'm at peace. I am not a threat to any system, corrupt or otherwise. And if you're in that system that's corrupt, then you're corrupt. That is the mental disconnect here. 
anyway, given that this year uh, U.S. mount its intensive propaganda war against Ukraine and ISIS and uh, worse things are going to come, they've routinely broken international law, destroyed the rule of law in the U.S. and so many other civilized nations are going along with that. Just yesterday, I read, read the latest from Congress, a virtual declaration of war was passed against the Russian Federation. Yes, I saw it. I understand it. But at the same time, this is how they're playing the game among the people at the top to crush down on governments. Government, it, These governmental systems are created for dishonorable people. That's why you have to break the collusion with the dishonor if you don't want to be wearing it yourself. Such a thing was also run up to the 2003 Iraq invasion, uh, invasion, whatever. I would like to be wrong. However, I would keep my nose clean with blank. Well, your nose is already not clean, I want to tell you. And I can't do anything or be associated with anything that gets me on the wrong list. Okay, I don't know what to say because uh, I don't know what I, I don't even know where the list is of who's right and who's wrong. All I know is that it ain't going to affect me doing any business with Russia or anybody else. I'm not disagreeing you with claiming that I to know more. Well, basically you are. If you're not joining me, you know, you are. I'm simply saying be careful. Well, that's good advice for everybody all day, every day. I felt I owed you an explanation. Yes, I, I understand that. And I just said, good morning. This was actually this morning. I said, honor is going to rule the day, and they will honor the contract. The right of self-determination is the peaceful settlement of any and all disputes. They actually put it right there. This is it. Lasting peace entails the exercise of self-determination by all peoples without discrimination. October 28, 2014. In other presentations, we showed what the UN itself is saying about the right of self-determination is the way to secure all your fundamental freedoms. That was in November, on November 6th, November 5th of last year, November 6th of the year before. And they had special committees that came out with these reports. They published this stuff everywhere. Ignorance of this law, ignorance of what they're doing is not an excuse. And this is actually really really good stuff this is great news that it's becoming more and more in the news it's unfortunate that you did not figure or have not figured that out i did this for one reason first and foremost i will not be in collusion with murderers and warmongers i will not have my resources my life energy spent on war rape murder abortion and other things that i don't agree with and i will not be in collusion with subject citizens debtor slaves that do period that was what Every single bit of this was about when we moved to St. Kitts, I wanted out of it. I didn't know that changing the geography did not get you out of the contract. It did not get you out of the jurisdiction. It did not keep you from being subjected because the contract says, e pluribus unum, the federated state is viewed as a sole person in the eyes of international law, which would also be universal law, and there must be repercussions for it because if you don't think there's not, then look at the planet. You know, everything about this tells you that what I'm saying is true. Immunity makes you immune. Human disease, human nature is diseased. And I want peace. I understand it. I fight myself all the time with things that I know I should do that I don't do and things that I don't do that I know I should do. I don't claim to want peace. I really want it. And those that claim to want it and then remain a subject citizen debt or slave that has their resources used for things that they claim not to believe in are hypocrites and they deserve what they get. This is not me saying it. It's been said throughout time in almost every religious book you can pick up. Okay. And it's also said in the preliminaries of the law of nations. Preliminary number 10, man, so formed by nature, he can't supply all his own wants, stand necessarily in need of intercourse with the assistance of his fellow man whether for his immediate preservation or for the sake of perfecting his own nature. So you can't perfect yourself if you're not part of a state. You know, he's saying we got all these examples, men who grew up in the bears and they didn't know how to speak. They had no sense of reason whatsoever. So we use communication. We use our reason to develop our intelligence, to develop, you know, have, thus having become intelligent so they could find a thousand methods of preserving themselves. Now, human nature being the disease again, they also find like a million ways to kill each other, which is the problem. So hence it is deduced the establishment of a natural society among men. It is natural to form societies. It is not natural to be a loner. Okay. All the people that say, well, I just want to be left alone. Well, I'm sorry. This is planet Earth and no one's ever been left alone. 
the general law that society is that each individual should do for the others everything that their necessities require, which he can perform without neglecting the duty he owes to himself. And he says down here, it's easy to conceive what felicity the world would enjoy were all men to observe the rule that we just laid down. On the contrary, each man is holy and immediately directs all his thoughts to his own interest. If he does nothing for the sake of other men, the whole human race together will be immersed in the deepest wretchedness. Looks like it might be getting there. But this is the hope. Lasting peace entails the right of self-determination. It's just blatantly, blatantly simple. After all these years of doing it, it just gets better and better and better. And that's the great hope. I said, Morpheus said it best. Most people are not ready to be unplugged. It obviously includes you and a whole bunch of others. I run the Dom. I have the land claim. And even if it may possibly be in dispute, which I know nothing about, if I wasn't in Dom, a sovereign member of the Dom, or holding some other office of honor, trust, or profit with Dom, then I would simply form something else. Saying that Dom is being monitored is saying that I'm being monitored. Saying that Dom is about to be brought down or demise means that I'm going to be brought down and I'm going to demise. If that were my destiny, it would already be so. You know, if the U.S. wanted to take me out, they would have done it in 2006 when they actually showed up at Kinko's and had a little chat with me for five hours and told me that it was only sent when there was no negotiations left. And he's right. I did the right thing and they're not negotiating. For anything other than now, we're looking at doing business. So in either case, I won't be looking back or living in fear, especially about alleged predictions of some from some unknown source. The thought of remaining in the matrix and in collusion with all the, that dishonor, look, there's a process. I didn't do it instantaneously. I understand if you're here, please do not think that I am placing judgment. That is not my point because I said I was here to change me. And what I was felt like I was living in and having to tolerate with the U.S., and not necessarily just the government, because I'm not here to rail against the government. I see that the system was created, why it was created, and why it keeps continuing to exist, because people blatantly do not care. They don't, and you know it. Which ask people around you how much they care, how much they really want to see things change. And I don't mean, yeah, I would like to see things change. I'm saying, no, what are you willing to do to be the change in the world that you want to see? And because one thing about it is you ain't going to change everybody else around you. You know, we've been through the law of nations, especially this section here about in book one, section 32 and 33. If everybody else decides that that's what they want to tolerate and they have agreed to it and they have found it supportable by not placing a disagreement and changing the Constitution or changing the system. I mean, even Vital says right in there, none but the whole nation itself can change the system. OK, so it has to be everyone. And it ain't going to happen in the U.S. It's just not. They promise change every four years, guys, and it does. It gets worse every four years. It changes every four years. I was thinking of writing, I appreciate the fears and apprehension on my behalf, but frankly, I really don't. Other than doing this for a teaching session, and I said it right here, emails like this are a waste of my time unless I decide to use them for educational purposes to show the double-mindedness because bottom line of it is, is that I don't care what country you're going to try to do business with. If you haven't exercised the right of self-determination, you're a subject, citizen, debt, or slave, and they can take you down at any time. I've shown the case law to prove that anybody can be taken down at any time if they're subject, period. This is just extant that this is what occurs, and, and it's the same thing, honestly, that he's complaining about here, that they're going to take me down. Well, I got. I beg to differ. They'll take him down before they take me down. All right. Last thing I said, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem.